Hey guys, how's it going? Channel update. Um, I just woke up and uh, I needed time to record this, so I kind of woke up a little bit earlier, so that's why I may look tired, alright? But, wow, alright? We have an exciting month ahead of us. We're finally out of this drought of a summer that we've had. It wasn't that bad, but still, you know, we're getting new releases, anticipated releases. This month of September, uh, we have... A lot of good games coming out, all right? Hopefully, a lot of good games coming out. So, let's get right to it, all right? First, I want to start with the recap for August, because August had to be probably the most busiest month ever of me doing YouTube. And uh, I'm not exaggerating. Literally, every single day of August, I got home from work, and I rendered, and I uploaded. I put out, like, I think two, two videos a day or something like that in August. It was crazy so videos here and uh you know kind of recap if you weren't you know here for most of august maybe you're new or um you know you just missed some of the content just to remind you guys that there is a lot of stuff out all right yeah geez i upload a lot of videos um okay so first things first uh gamescom Gamescom was a few weeks ago, and I did cover it. I uh, watched the Microsoft, Sony, and the EA press conferences, and I gave my thoughts on those, right? So if you're interested in what I thought about the Gamescom press conferences, go ahead and watch those. Um, I think Microsoft won, personally, and Sony probably had the worst, even worse than, you know, EA's. But, yeah, that, that, that's what I personally think. Um, I also played uh, some Last of Us multiplayer. And, uh, you know, I, I said I wanted to do some matches. I was going to see if I can get into it because I didn't get into the multiplayer on PS3. I just, I, I wasn't really, you know, getting, I wasn't really into the multiplayer uh, that, that much. So I decided to give it another chance. And I went in there and I played uh, Supply Raid, uploaded a few videos of that, and uh, also played Survivors and uploaded a few videos of that. Now, I said I was going to do interrogation. Here's the thing. If I'm looking, I'm looking at the videos right now, and the views have started dwindling, meaning more or less that I think people are tired of The Last of Us remastered multiplayer because the game's been out for more than a month, so there really is no reason for me to put some more up. I said I was going to do the interrogation, but the thing is, I'm not really that good at the game to begin with, so... That's one. Number two, the game's a month old. And number three, I'm not really into the multiplayer. So those three things combined, um, I think it's better to just leave it alone rather than just, you know, force myself. Or I'll, I'll play through an hour of interrogation and then I upload those videos and like no one watches them. So I may do it. Probably not. So we'll, we'll have to see. Um, in addition to that... We also had uh, some new game releases, Ho Hokum. I did a first impressions of that. I played the game, and honestly, guys, that has uh, the game has no objective. All right, and that's the most frustrating part is that the game has no objective. It doesn't tell you what to do. You're supposed to just figure out what you're supposed to do in these levels, and uh, it's very frustrating. It's one of those games that has an artistic design to it, but because it doesn't really have any purpose for you know for for the player to fulfill it feels like you're more wasting your time than you are actually making progress and unfortunately you know it's unfortunate because you play the game you're like wow I love the artistic direction the music is amazing but it doesn't it doesn't uh, tell you what to do and it doesn't reward you for really doing anything you know you, you find out okay I can take these people and I can bring them to certain places but what nothing happens all they do is they just chant around and do certain activities, but you don't know what you're supposed to do. So there's trophies in the game, and every single trophy is locked, so you don't even know how to get them in the first place, which is uh, you know frustrating. So yeah, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Also, Infamous First Light did an impressions of that a few days ago, so go watch that. I I am playing through the game still, all right. So I'll let you guys know on Twitter when I beat that. I did a playthrough of uh, PT, Playable Teaser. I actually went back and uh, did a playthrough of that game. Um, I was originally just, I'm just going to do a first impressions um, at first, but you know I figured, okay, it's a shorter game, 
And it's a horror game, so people might be interested, so I decided to do a playthrough. I beat it in four parts. Part one, two, part one and two, and some of three were just uh, me not knowing what to do. So I was kind of like walking around just trying to figure it out, and I had like no idea. And then I printed out a wiki guide for part, for part three or four, and uh, I just beat the game um, that way. I actually did beat it completely. I got, I got to the very end and had the trailer replay. And I kind of edited the footage so that the trailer would play that theme song from Metal Gear Solid V, uh, just for, you know, uh, hilarity purposes. So that's cool. Um, I also checked out the Sims 4 Create a Sim demo. I created myself. Um, and I was playing with my sister, and she created some weird looking chick, Lit, Lit I, I, I don't even know. So, and uh, I also went back in there recently and created Faith Connors, who's, you know, from Mirror's Edge, and I recreated her in The Sims 4. Um, so, uh, if you guys want to, you know, go ahead and watch that, that's pretty good. I sped it up so you guys don't see the 30 minutes it took me. It's only a 10 minute video, so that's good. All right. In addition to that, again, there's more content, geez. Um, preparing for Far Cry 4. I played the full Far Cry 3 co-op. Actually, no, I didn't. I played 90% of the Far Cry 3 co-op because the Far Cry 3 co-op is probably the most shittiest, lazy, and... It's just a really bad co-op. I'm just trying, trying to think of the word. And, uh... Unintelligence uncreative. You guys, I'm, it's such a bad co-op. It's so repetitive. Nothing was, no effort was put into it. They have like this story that goes on and it just, you don't care. You don't give a shit. So, I played through parts, uh, parts one through eight. Yes? No, no, parts, yeah, parts one through seven actually are me playing with Dylan. Um, you know, my friend Dylan, and uh, he unfortunately had to leave, so uh, I had to play, uh, so part 8 through uh, 12, uh, I, had to, I had to get my best friend Joe to help me, so that's why the commentary is a little bit different, but I think it's kind of cool because it mixes it up, you know, it's a different style of video, so if you haven't watched that, there's a full playthrough of the Far Cry 3 co-op, it's 12 parts, it's actually a pretty good playthrough, I, 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 uh, I mean, I, I, for a playthrough, I think, I, I think it did, I think it did very well, but just, Playing through it was just awful, but um, the commentary is decent. So, if you guys are interested in that, um, I am now more than prepared for Far Cry uh, Four. Uh, I didn't even beat. I didn't even get to the end of Part Twelve. I just quit because Joe had to go somewhere, and I didn't really give a shit in the first place. So I'm just like, you know, I'm done. So that happens. And uh, last but certainly not least is I upgraded my PlayStation Four hard drive. To two terabytes, all right. I got the new Samsung Seagate Momentous uh, hard drive, and I showed a video of me taking the the PS4 out and upgrading the hard drive, so you guys get sort of a tutorial. And uh, I have two terabytes now, so it's pretty freaking awesome. That's definitely gonna hold me over until the end of 2015, at least. So that's really really nice. All right. So, um. Month of August was jammed packed. It was a huge, 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 huge month. And this, uh, I almost said December. And uh, September is going to be a very huge month as well, right? Because we finally have new anticipated releases. Unboxings are coming back. Isn't that awesome? I finally I get to go to GameStop again. I can't. When was it? Yeah, it was. It was uh, uh, June. June was the last time I actually went to GameStop. Um, for for an unboxing video, so really excited to get back into unboxings. All right, a few things I got my list here, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Um, the new releases. All right, let's talk about the Sims 4 since that is the first major release that's coming out September 2nd. All right, you guys are seeing this. Uh, you guys are seeing this on September 1st. All right, I'm recording this on August 28th because uh, I won't have time to record it anytime later. Um, that being said. Oh, actually, now that I'm now that I'm talking about it, I also I also took the ice bucket challenge for August. All right, so I, I didn't take it yet physically, but I will be taking it, which means that the time you guys are seeing this video, I have already taken the challenge. So if you guys want to see me dump water or get get ice water being dumped on my head for ALS, then you go watch that video. All right. Um, now let's get back to The Sims 4. I contacted EA about a review copy a month ago. And they got back to me and they said, thanks for reaching out. Uh, we haven't received a review copies just yet, but we'll be happy to let you know uh, when we do and share an update closer to release. 
as of this time, I am still waiting for for a uh, notice from them. Sometime this week, uh, I'm expecting them to get back to me. All right. If they don't get back to me, I'm gonna have to send another email over, which I don't really want to do. You know, if they don't get back to me by the release of The Sims 4, then I may just go ahead and buy the game. You know, just just buy it and spend sixty dollars on it. All right. But I did contact them. And they said. You know, um, they'll they'll let me know basically, and uh, hopefully they do. Hopefully, if they get if they get back to me with a review copy, that would be freaking awesome because it, it would save me money, but also I'd be able to bring you guys content. Um, uh, uh, you know, I, well, I'd still be able to bring you guys the Sim the Sim Tour content, but it's like it would just really help me out if you get the freaking review copy. You know, financially it would help me out. Um, so, but regardless, I think I'm going to be getting Sims 4 released with, um, whether I get it from them or not. Um, if I don't get it from them, I'm just going to go to Best Buy or, or GameStop and get a, get a physical copy. And that way, you guys will sort of see an unboxing. I don't know if I'll record the unboxing. I don't know. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works. But, um, there is that. Um, so, when I get, when I hear back from EA... If you guys follow me on Twitter, for, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, I will let you know. All right, so that's good. Um, Destiny is the next major release. All right, Destiny is probably the biggest, most anticipated release by most people this whole year. You know, because it's Bungie, but um, it's coming out September 9th. You know, we played the alpha, we played the beta, and uh, now we're gonna be able to play the full game. So I am. It's gonna be a huge unboxing because I do have the Ghost Edition pre-ordered, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's secured. So the ghost edition of the game is pre-ordered and secured. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, like, how the hell did you get a ghost edition? I've been trying to find those for weeks and months, and I just can't find them, and they're selling for a thousand dollars on eBay. Like, how did you get one? Because literally the moment they announced the ghost edition and the limited edition, I went to GameStop to pre-order. Like literally that same morning. So the early bird gets the worm. And uh that's going to be a big unboxing, all right? I'm going to be taking it home, unboxing it, and uh, be playing the game. It's going to be a pretty, pretty big day that um, when that comes, September 9th, all right? Now, then there's uh, two weeks in between, between Destiny and the next games that are coming out, all right? In between that time, I plan on uh, doing a um, uh, uh, some, some Destiny gameplay. All right, there's going to be some Destiny gameplay here and there. And uh, probably some Sims 4 content. So there's probably going to be mix, a mix of Destiny and Sims 4 throughout those weeks, all right? Um, and I want to give each of those games time to shine. So close around the release, it's probably just going to be Sims 4, and then it's just going to be Destiny, and then I'm going to try to mix it in between, all right? And uh, it depends. Um, maybe, maybe you know, it'll be Destiny multiplayer gameplay. Maybe it'll be some of the campaign. Maybe... Um, Maybe if I felt like doing The Last of Us Remastered, even though I don't think it's going to even matter because no one cares if the game's been out for a month already, and uh, people would rather see the new games that are coming out. And uh, so, I don't know, but through those few weeks, I'm going to be mixing it up between Destiny and The Sims 4. Then we get into September 30th, yes, September 30th, which is the last, uh, the, you know, the last full releases for, for this month. And that is Forza Horizon 2, which is pre-ordered. All right, the day one edition, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm really excited for Forza Horizon 2 because Forza Horizon was probably the best racing game I ever played last generation. So Horizon 2 is going to be uh, ex uh, exceptional, especially on the Xbox One with the updated visuals and the, and the weather system. It's going to be fantastic. All right, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is the next one that's coming out, and that is uh, that's a game I'm really excited for as well. Pre-ordered, so getting that on PS4. Open world game. Looking forward to the story a lot because I, you know, I've seen the story trailers and the story looks really, really good. And I tried watch, I tried going back. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch The Hobbit before this game comes out, just you know, just the kind of like you know, catch up with the lore, I guess. And I got through an hour and a half of the the, the Hobbit before I finally quit. I just couldn't make it through. So I I just never been a uh, Lord of the Rings Hobbit person. I just I can't get into it. So, uh, but Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is gonna be. It looks great. Looks really great with the open world, and then you have this interesting character and the, this great story that's going on. So it's going to be pretty good. And then uh, we have another game called Sherlock Holmes: Crimes and Punishments, which is uh, a new Sherlock Holmes game. It looks really good. You know, I, I looked at the gameplay footage and it looks interesting. 
I'm not getting it on release necessarily, but I am going to um, I am going to uh, get it later. All right, so just keep that in mind that that game's coming out, but I'm gonna hold off on it. Wait, maybe wait till a price drop and get it later because it does look interesting. Um, and then that's pretty much it in terms of the game releases. All right, I think uh, this Forza Horizon Two is getting a demo during the middle of September, so that's pretty interesting. And then I think is is there anything else going on? Oh yeah, um, I didn't even write it down here. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is actually coming out on PC September 25th, all right? It's going to be coming to PS4, but not until 2015, and then it's coming out right, you know, as soon as next month on, uh, uh, or this month, rather, on um, PC. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I'll maybe I'll just get it on PC. If I go on Steam right now, it's 20 bucks, but Steam always has good deals. If you pre-order it on Steam, you can get... Um, like the soundtrack and all this stuff. So I think it makes sense for me to actually get it on Steam. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And then uh, that's pretty much all the releases that we have. Now, personally, we have some new exciting things going on, all right? School for me is starting tomorrow. I'm uploading, I'm uploading this on Monday. It's starting tomorrow, all right? So tomorrow is my first day going back to school for the fall semester um, for, you know, college year. So it's... Uh, I have to keep on. I'm gonna have to balance school and YouTube again. You know, it, before it was just work, YouTube, and it was fine. But now I have now I have responsibility of school, right? So keep that in mind. That things are they gonna slow down uh, slightly? I don't think you'll really notice because I'm really good at time managing the whole thing. Um, but we're we're gonna have to see where um, what you know what happens with uh, you know my schedule. Is it gonna be is it gonna be keeping me really hectic? Is it not that bad? We're going to have to, um, you know, just see. But just keep that in mind that on Tuesday, I start school again, so tomorrow. And uh, The Sims 4 comes out, you know, tomorrow as well. So it's going to uh, be interesting to have to balance that in. Okay, I'm on The Vanishing of Ethan Carter right now. I'm going to see what, what it comes with for, for pre-ordering. Includes pre-purchase rewards. Do -do. You get... A full original soundtrack, four times exclusive, so four exclusive wallpapers, Red Creek Valley digital map, and the making of PDF album, and a digital poster. So the only thing I give a shit about is the soundtrack, because I love soundtracks. So, you can preview the game's OST from here. Alright, so, whatever. That, those, I might just get it on Steam. It makes sense for me to get it on Steam, since I have a PC that can run it, no doubt, and, uh, you know, it, I can play it up to a year early. Um, so that, so yes, yeah, so just keep that in mind, school, and, uh, follow me on Twitter for updates and such, all right? And then finally, last thing I want to talk about is new equipment. I'm upgrading. I'm getting rid of this piece of shit, which it wasn't a piece of shit, it was actually a good digital camera, but I'm getting rid of this and I'm upgrading, guys. No longer will you guys see a digital camera. Uh, for me recording, all right. I'm getting a camcorder this time, and uh, I have the one I I have the one I'm gonna get, all right. I already have, and uh, I already know which one I'm going to get, but um, I just haven't gotten it yet, all right. And I actually, speaking of that, I may that depending. I'm gonna go to Best Buy this weekend. I'm gonna see if it's cheaper at Best Buy because Amazon's selling it for 200 bucks, and uh, actually, I actually think it's 190 now. And Best Buy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see what price they have best, but maybe they have a sale going on or such, but yeah, I'm getting rid of this, all right? I'm upgrading to a digital camcorder, and keep keep this in mind, guys, all right? We know YouTube's coming with 1080p, or I'm sorry, with 60 frames and 48 frames per second support, all right? We know that's coming. I have decided to upgrade to a digital camcorder that's 1080p, 60 frames per second, all right? So keep that in mind. When YouTube supports it, you guys are going to see vlogs 60 frames per second, which I know is going to look really weird at first, but how awesome. I, wouldn't that be amazing if I could be like the first person to, on YouTube who can bring 1080p 60 frames per second unboxings, which there's like no point really because it's a vlog, but still like unboxing something in 60 frames per second, that's going to be just, that's unprecedented. People are going to look at that and they're going to be like, well, this guy unboxes in 60 frames per second, and he actually goes to the store. Like my unboxings are, my unboxings are good to begin with. Um, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but seriously, 
And uh, with the 60 frames per second support, that's going to be freaking awesome. So I know which one I'm going to get. I'm going to be getting it uh, sometime this week, guys. Sometime this week, undoubtedly. It just depends on how soon, right? It may have already gotten it, depending on how, uh, how good the Best Buy deal was this past weekend. But when I, when I do get it, you guys will see an unboxing. And that unboxing will be the last official video with this camcorder. The problem with this camcorder is that it's glitching out. And I'm on the video tab sometimes and recording a video and it'll just stop recording for no reason. So the camcorder is glit this this camera is glitching out and uh, I did some research. Everyone said that camcorder still offers superior video quality and audio quality at the same time. So I decided to alright I like the size of this but I'd rather go with the better quality and actually the camcorder because I did see it at Best Buy one time. I did kind of mess around with it and uh, it's pretty small. It's still pretty small. So it's a Sony too. So 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second and I made sure it was 1080p and not 1080i standard. All right, so you guys are getting the full 1080 um, progressive scan footage. So that's going to be pretty cool, all right, guys? And that's basically your month for September. So it's going to be jam packed. Keep that in mind. You guys are going to see the new Sony Cam unboxing. You guys are going to see uh, The Sims 4 gameplay, the Destiny Ghost Edition unboxing, um, mix between Destiny multiplayer gameplay Sims 4, and then Forza Horizon 2, uh, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, and The Middle of Shadow of Mortar. And that's basically your month for uh, for September. All right, It's going to be jam-packed. Uh, follow me on Twitter for updates, and uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, So have a good day, and I'll talk to you all sometime soon. Bye.